Well, hello, hello, it's Naveen with Naveen's Cuisine. Hope you're having a fantastic week so far. We can't uh, hope for better weather, it's amazing. Uh, high 70s, just gorgeous, it's like spring. So, with spring and summer and all the cool days or warm days, it's nice to have a cold dessert. So today we're gonna make panna cotta. The word panna means in Italian, cream, and cotta means cooked. And panna cotta originated in the north of Italy from a, a place called Piedmont. And up till 1960, there was no recipes for it in any cookbooks, and all of a sudden it just came out. It's attributed to a Hungarian lady that came out with this dish called latte inglese, which means English cream. Anyway, so the basic recipe for panna cotta is heavy cream, milk, sugar, and gelatin. And you can flavor it any which way you want. Today, I'm making panna cotta with raspberries. And this right here, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use these glasses. That size is nice. You can use a wine glass or any kind of glass. And basically the way I'm putting it here with the little towel and a, some kind of a two inch high sides of a pan or a plastic container. And I'm tilting it to the side because once we do the panna cotta, it, we need to kind of put it so when it cools off with the gelatin and everything in about four hours or overnight, uh, then it's already set and then we can add something else to it. Stay put. First things first, I got about a half a cup of water, just room temperature water, and an envelope of Knox gelatin. One, one teaspoon of gelatin is equivalent to three sheets. So I'm using the whole envelope because I'm making a few recipes today. But for, for this recipe, which is just this kind of four medium glasses, you need half an envelope of gelatin and you're gonna keep it in the water for a little bit while we're getting other ingredients ready so it can swell. So as I just mentioned, the main ingredients are heavy cream and milk. You can use any type of percentage of fat you like. So since I'm doing two recipes today, I'm going to cook it all together, but I will give you the recipe per um, one application. So basically, in a medium saucepan, I have one and a half cups heavy cream and half a cup of milk. So we're going to have it on medium heat until everything boils together. This recipe is so easy. You can complicate it as much as you want, but it's an easy recipe. So you got your two cups of cream, I'm sorry, one and a half cups of cream, and half cup of milk. I put a couple of drops of vanilla extract. If you have vanilla beans, it would be wonderful, but I couldn't find any. So you just take some of the seeds and scrape it in, in addition to the vanilla extract. And now we're gonna add sugar for about a quarter cup. I'm not gonna put a lot in there because the additional raspberry sauce that I'm going to be putting in later today or tomorrow is going to be sweet enough. So after you do your first recipe, you can determine how much sweetness you want for next time, more or less. For those of you who don't want to go on sugar, give up the sugar, you can use Truvia. It's my preferred 
sugar substitute brand and it does very well in cooking and baking so basically we're gonna have this going on until it forms some bubbles and then once that's done we're stirring the gelatin a little bit more and that goes in and then into the containers once it starts boiling and you can see some bubbles forming you're gonna put your gelatin in there and the warm cream and milk will help it dissolve completely so you're gonna keep stirring it until it's completely dissolved dissolved and you can't see the little gelatin beads anymore yep, it's all good now I put my cream mix in a container that has a nice spout to it so when we start adding the cream to the tilted glass it'll be easy to apply Let's see bingo this is how it looks like tilted and a cotta then let it cool off a little bit from all the steam and put it in the fridge it needs to be refrigerated at least four hours so maybe for dessert today or tomorrow you can finish it off now next to the second part 